This video explains how to include Canadian government documents and reports in your reference list according to APA Style 6th edition. Citing Canadian government documents can be especially difficult when using APA because many of the examples and information in the APA guide are for American sources. They also recommend the Blue Book, a uniform system of citation, which is also for American sources. In Canada, the standard guide for citing legal and government sources is a Canadian guide to uniform legal citation. Mon Libraries has combined APA with the Canadian Guide to Uniform Legal Citation, 7th edition, to create our recommendations for citing Canadian government documents and reports. In this example, punctuation is in red for emphasis. In your actual reference list, all font would be black. Start with the name of the government, department, committee, or organization who created the document or report. Most government documents will not have individual authors listed, but will have a group author. Jurisdiction refers to the country, province, or city. You only state the jurisdiction if it's not already apparent in the name of the department or organization, or in the title of the document. For example, Environment Canada, Council of the College of Nurses of Ontario, or Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro would be sufficient because it's obvious from their name what the jurisdiction is. If it's not apparent, then state the country, province, or city, followed by the name of the department. In parentheses, put the publication date, then the title of the document in italics. In APA style, the first letter of every word is not capitalized, just the first letter of the first word, the first word of the subtitle, and proper nouns. If the report or document has a number associated with it, you can add it in parentheses after the title. Then the city and province of publication and the publisher's name. Here's what a finished reference will look like. With government documents, it's common for the author to also be the publisher. In that case, you can actually use the word author to indicate the publisher instead of writing it out again. But what about government documents you find online? For online sources, you don't include the publication information the way you do for a print source. Instead, copy and paste the URL that links directly to the document. The URL should not be hyperlinked or underlined and should be the same font as the rest of the reference. Identify the publisher as part of the retrieval statement. However, if the author is also the publisher, you don't include the publisher in the retrieval statement. For example, this document was on the Newfoundland and Labrador Health and Community Services website, but we already named them as the author. For more information about in-text citations, watch our video, Referencing Sources in APA Style, A Basic Introduction, or go to the Mun Library's website and check out our online APA guide and chat live with library staff.